guys welcome back to my channel now today we are going to be doing a little bit of a different type of video it is not a makeup tutorial but it is a review also if you guys are new to my channel hi my name is Paula Bahadori I do makeup tutorials makeup reviews and um, yeah if you guys want to join our little family here on YouTube then I suggest you guys click subscribe like and hit that notification bell so that it lets you know when I upload a new video. We are comparing these two foundation blenders, beauty blenders, whatever you guys want to call it, foundation applicators. I am going to be showing you actually this way because I use this one for this side, this one for this side. So yeah, today we're going to be doing a little bit of a challenge, like a little review and it's going to be Beauty Blender versus the Juno & Co Beauty Blender. So of course there's a big difference price-wise, application-wise, and um, I guess, you know, they do look similar but they are definitely different as far as fabric. So if you guys want to find out which one I prefer, which one I think is best, which one I think you get the most for your money if you want to find out then keep on watching okay guys so let's start first um i already moisturized it's very important to do your skincare before you do your makeup all the time it's important it's it really shows how good the makeup looks when you have good skin so i feel like if you wash your face exfoliate moisturize it's definitely going to be a big big difference your foundation it's gonna look so so much better I guarantee okay so I am gonna be going in with my water jelly um, primer by Huda Beauty I've been really liking this primer I feel like it really hydrates my skin okay so I was gonna do my eyes first so um, I'm gonna be using my Natasha Denona sunrise palette so I'm going to be doing that first, I think, and I'm going to be using some scotch tape. Okay, so first I'm going to be going in with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC, and I'm going to apply that on the lid as a base for my eyeshadow. I'm going to be using this shade right here, and it's the shade Morning. Okay, so next I'm going to be using this shade right here, and it's the shade Carnelian. Yeah, Carnelian. Now I'm going to be going in with this shade right here, and it's called Jasper. Okay guys, so moment of truth, let's see. this eyeshadow came out <laughs> hopefully it's even I always kind of mess it up okay doesn't look too bad so let's go ahead and get to the real nitty-gritty here it's time for the test let's see which one is better beauty blender or the Juno & Co microfiber sponge like I've said before I prefer the Juno & Co sponge but I've never really tried them both like on the face at the same time so that's what we're gonna be doing today so it's gonna be very interesting to see the actual difference because I'm gonna be using my Juno & Co uh, sponge on this side and my beauty blender on this side so I'm excited. I am going to be using my NARS foundation and it's going to be the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I really like this foundation. I feel like I haven't used it in a while so I'm very excited to see how things are going to work out using two different sponges and this foundation. Okay so first I'm going to be going on my right side. So I'm going to do the same procedure as I do when I do my and I'm going to be using my Juno & Co uh, sponge on this side, on my right side. Okay, so my foundation, of course, I really like how it looks with using the sponge. Like, I always use the sponge, honestly. So, 
it looks good to me I feel like you really applies the foundation well so um, now let's get on to this side and I'm gonna be using my beauty blender now the one thing that I really like about um, the beauty blender is that it has like a very pointy side to it where you can really get in here in like the inner corners so it has more precision for sure I always get scared of messing my eyeshadow up when I when I do my eyeshadow first okay guys so I am actually surprised I can totally see a difference in the application okay so on this side I feel I don't know if you guys can see it but this side I feel like it looks a little bit my skin looks a little bit more smooth mm, you don't see the texture a lot on this side um maybe because i don't have a lot of breakouts on this side as much as this side but with the juno and co you can definitely see more texture right here and right here than over here can you guys see it i don't know if you guys can see it but in person looking at myself in the mirror i can definitely see a difference but I also think that it's because the microfiber uh, sponge doesn't absorb as much product as the Beauty Blender. This one's very spongy, very, it like pretty much eats up all the foundation. And maybe that's why it kind of gives me a little bit more of like, more like a natural finish. As to this one, it feel like it gave me a little bit more full coverage, um, on this side i also want to mention the price difference between these two because it's a lot this one this juno or microfiber sponge you can actually get it on amazon and you get four of these for 12.99 for the beauty blender you get one beauty blender at sephora for 20 dollars so i mean you guys decide so let's go ahead and finish our face and then we will decide at the end of the video okay guys so i finished doing my makeup now the final verdict for these two beauty blenders or you know foundation applicators in my opinion i personally like this one the best because number one it's affordable and you get a pack of four for just 12.99 and also it does not absorb the product as much as the beauty blender and it feel like it gives you a little bit more of like a full coverage if that's what you like i would personally go ahead and buy one of these or try it if you want to yeah i mean they last a long time honestly just now you can i don't know if you guys can see it has like little cracks so i need to um switch it for another one because can tell i've been using it for a while so it is very long lasting honestly like i've last i've used this one in particular for a while now it's not as pointy as this one so that's kind of like a con i feel like this one's a little bit more dense this one's more soft for sure for this one i feel like since it doesn't um absorb the product as much it does dry um faster um, as to a beauty blender this one's still pretty pretty damp this one not really not as much as you can tell this one's more spongy this one's not as spongy so this one's a little bit more dense and i feel like that's why it doesn't absorb the product as much and it gives you a fuller coverage than the beauty blender so yeah the reason why i would go with this one is if you're in a budget you want full coverage you want a sponge that doesn't absorb the product as much as the beauty blender i personally like this one better but now let's talk about the beauty blender okay so the beauty blender i mean it's become super super popular with every like beauty influencer um, everybody i feel like everybody uses a beauty blender now the pros i feel like it does i feel like it does give you a little bit of more like a natural finish this one looks like a little bit more full coverage this one gives you kind of like a medium coverage you can build up like the foundation and build it up and to give you a little bit more coverage so i really like that 
Um, I do see that my texture doesn't show as much. I really like this pointy tip right here because you can easily go in right here in the inner eye and kind of like perfect a little bit more. You know what I'm talking about? It's more soft, I feel. I feel like it's more spongy. Not necessarily soft, but this one I really feel like it's very, very soft. The only con that I have, well actually two cons, is that it does absorb the product way, way more than the Juno & Co. And of course, the price point of a beauty blender, 20 bucks for this little sponge. And as you can tell, I've already, I don't really, I haven't really used it that much to be honest. I wanted to buy one just to like kind of give it a try again to see if I actually really like it. I wanted to give it a try and to compare these two. So as you can tell, I barely used this one and you can already see little dents right here. And this one I've actually been using for a long, long time, like months now, and it barely has any like little cracks like now. So, I mean, I can still use it because it works fine. And for this one, I barely used it. And then you can kind of see like right here. I don't know if you guys can see it in camera, but it has like little little patches like that are missing. So, um, yeah, I would suggest to try this first. Maybe if you can just see if you guys like it. Like I said, it's super affordable. You can buy it on Amazon if you have Amazon Prime. You get it in like two days. And this one, of course, you can get it at Sephora. And um, 20 bucks for this. I mean it's your really really your choice my final opinion is i would say that this one is the winner my opinion i don't know you guys go ahead and try it for yourself if you want to um i'll go ahead and leave a link down below in the description box a link to this little sponge it comes with four sponges for 12.99 like i said super super affordable super great quality I highly recommend you guys try it. So yeah, this concludes our video, guys. Thank you so much if you made it to the end of the video. I really hope you guys are staying safe. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.